Hi, welcome back to VMware View 4.6 tutorial. Here in part 2 we'll be installing the View Connection Server. The View Connection Server is installed on a separate Windows 2008 server and what I've done is I've just copied the installation files to the desktop. So let's double click on the installation file and it will launch the View Connection Server setup. Okay, here on the first screen we'll just click Next. Click next to the end user patent agreement. Let's accept the license agreement. Click next. And we'll be installing into the default directory, which is in the C colon slash program files. Click next. Okay, here we have a few different options. I recommend that you go through on the website www.sysadmintutorials.com and click on the resources area and uh, download the manual for VMware View 4.6. The manual for view 4.6 will go through what each of these options are, uh, but for this demo we're just going to be installing the view standard server. So just make sure that that's selected and we'll click next. Now if you don't install your connection server on a Windows 2008 R2, you'll get this pop-up message about the PCOIP gateway functionality. So we're not too worried about that. Uh, this demo doesn't cover PCOIP gateway and uh, my operating system is actually a Windows 2008 server. So I'm just going to click OK here. And I want the wizard to go through and configure my Windows firewall automatically. As you can see, it will open the ports for 8009, 80, 443, 4001, and 4100. So let's click next here. And just a summary of the installation wizard. I'm happy with all this. I'm going to click install. As you can see, the AD Lightweight Directory Service server role is installed here. Check in the manual to how this server role actually participates in the whole VMware view infrastructure. Okay, and the installation is finished. So I'll just click on Finish button. So that concludes this tutorial. In part 4, we'll be looking at configuring the view connection server. Thank you very much for watching.